welcome back to the We Lie to You News News Desk for another special election update where we've been working hard to bring you coverage all day. The latest breaking news in the week of Trump's triumphant victory, Kamala has given her concession speech. And we'll be taking a look at how there's a rather funny 20 million Democrat vote discrepancy compared to 2020. And RFK Jr. on Trump's team already has three letter agencies shitting themselves. But starting with Kamala giving her concession speech, after election night, where she abandoned the blue-haired women and the estrogenic men who don't know their own genders that were waiting for her to address them, Kamala came out the next day. And stealing the show, taking the stage before Kamala, was a much more beloved squirrel. If you believe in witchcraft, then you believe the spirit of Peanut the Squirrel incarnated to remind Democrats that the squirrel community will not bend to their tyranny any longer. And here are some of the highlights of the main speaker, also with a squirrel intellect. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition. It was a very kind and equitable offer she made to help Trump and his team transition their genders. No word yet, but it's expected that Trump will not be taking her up on her offer in an effort to retain his testicles. Let's hear more from Kamala. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations where the women of America have the freedom to make decisions about their own body and not have their government telling them what to do. Coming from a lady who spent four years attempting to mandate that women and men be forced to take a shot that they don't want to take, you know she means it. But she also had this to say. Hate you. <laughs> Shout out Ben Shapiro, I guess. And she closed with a bang. I thank you all, may God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. I thank you all. Be weird to think if he already blessed America with the results of the election. So long, Kamala. This Justin! Trump has won the state of Michigan, which means he won by an even bigger margin. But also, this Justin! Kamala won every state that doesn't require voter ID. That's a coincidence. In other election news, questions are being raised about Democrat voter turnout. In 2020, Biden received 81 million Democrat votes. This election, Kamala received 60 million. And in 2016, Hillary received roughly that same amount. So the question is, for the 2020 election, where did those extra 20 million Democratic voters come from? And where did they go? They didn't all go to Trump. He's projected to come in at roughly 74 billion votes in this election, the same amount he got in 2020. We do know that in this election, Trump's team had 230,000 poll observers and 500 attorneys in every battleground state. We still can't connect the dots on this 20 million Democratic voter discrepancy in this election. So it'll have to remain an unsolved mystery, just like who killed Kennedy. This just in. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is already making three-letter agencies a little nervous as he'll be an integral part of Trump's team. Take a look at what Kennedy had to say to our corresponding reporter who looks like a 14-year-old boy from the side about the FDA. You say clearing out the corruption in your terms. Would that mean clearing out the top-level federal service workers that are currently at the FDA and the in, CDC? In some categories, I would say. What does that look like? Yeah. In some categories of workers, there are entire departments like the nutrition departments at FDA that are that have to go. And Kennedy's tyranny is just getting started, folks. He's looking to oppress the fine people at corporately captured government agencies because he wants to protect the public? Maybe the CIA should just... This just in! Liberals everywhere are melting down over Trump's victory. Take a look. I chose family. I chose women. I chose America. I love you. That's it for the latest 2024 election update. Stay tuned because we'll be keeping you up to date on all the latest. And of course, we're all hoping the Diddy tapes have been destroyed by this point because Kamala didn't get elected last night. Good night.